Hello, this is Waterly 716 or Sarah, and my glasses are in crooked. Um, and today I'm going to do a video about um, a tutorial on deep treatments and also my opinion of the Curl Junkie Curl Rehab Moisturizing Treatment. And this is a video that was requested on my profile and it has a lot of likes, so I figured I should do it. I think her username is Passion Knit Curl, something like that. Um, and she was asking how often I do deep treatments, what I think the benefits are, um, yada yada yada. And honestly, I don't do deep treatments very often at all. Um, my hair doesn't get very dry, and I generally use pretty moisturizing conditioners, so I don't usually do deep treatments. But that doesn't mean that I shouldn't, I'm just lazy. Um, but my hair has been feeling kind of dry and tangly lately, so I figured it was time for a deep treatment. I just sort of do it on a need basis, um, but if you do have dry hair or damaged hair, definitely deep treatments and protein treatments, which are um, good in moderation, um, like a set, like every week or every two weeks, um, that could be good. But yeah, and the benefits of deep treatments is it's just going to put more moisture into your hair. So. Um, It'll just rejuvenate your hair, and even if your hair isn't feeling dry, if you just want to be softer and more moisturized. But you do have to be careful if you have fine hair especially, or if you have hair that gets over-conditioned easily, to not over-conditioned. It's never happened to me, um, but if you do deep treatments too often, um, your hair just gets too much moisture. So now, um, you can also, you don't need to run out and buy a deep treatment. You can also make your own just using some of your conditioner and like some like other natural ingredients. And I'll put a couple of recipes in the description box. But today I'm using this Curl Junkie one. I won this in a natural curly contest a long time ago. And it smells really good. It's called Gardenia Coconut. Um, and you're supposed to apply it to clean hair. So I already conditioner washed with um, some Alberto BO5 Herbal Escape, which smells pretty good, and my Giovanni usual, um, the Sleek and Slime conditioner, which is my favorite right now. You're just supposed to apply it to wet hair and then distribute it. So just gonna take some of this. It doesn't look very pleasant. And I'm gonna apply it to my hair. Um, I'm going to use a generous amount. This feels really good in my hair. I'm going to get this side. So just make sure you sort of coated everything and then you're just going to take a brush. And contrary to popular belief, you can brush your hair while wet. You just have to be gentle. So just brush it and this will help the deep tre treatment to um, distribute evenly. Um, it feels really good in my hair. And then what I'm going to do is take a little more and put it on my ends. And then what you want to do is you can put it up in a towel or um, you can plop. But I'm going to use this shower cup that I got from the hotel. And what this will do is n none of the conditioner is going to leave your hair because it's not going to seep out into the towel. What I'm going to do is use a hair tie. I'm just going to put my hair up in a really messy bun on top of my head. And now I'm going to put on the shower cap. I feel like a lunch lady. But anyways, yeah, that's how you do a deep treatment. I leave on for at least 15 minutes. Um, but you can leave a deep treatment on for anywhere from 15 minutes, which is like sort of the minimum time, to an hour to like overnight if you just want to go, go to sleep. The longer you leave it on, generally the more moisture you're going to get in your hair. Um, and another thing you can do is sort of mini deep treatments while you're in the shower. Um, and I did this a lot um, a while ago. I actually want to start doing it again. Is just take some honey and mix about half your conditioner and half honey and put it in your hair. And while you're doing your shower stuff for 5 or 10 minutes or whatever, just leave it in your hair and it's like a little mini deep treatment you can do in your shower. Let's just look at the ingredients of this. Um, uh, a bee just flew in. This is water, um, aloe, moisturizing alcohol, shea butter, horsetail leaf extract, nettle leaf extract, melissa leaf extract, peppermint leaf extract, yucca leaf extract, rosehip fruit oil, jojoba oil, cocoa seed butter. 
Yeah, so it just has a ton of moisturizing stuff. So that's what you want to look for is like moisturizers and the ingredients of a deep treatment. Yeah. So I'm just gonna leave this in <laughs> and then I will come back um, and when my hair has been styled um, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna what you're supposed to do is after you've left it in you just rinse it out and style your hair as normal so I'm gonna come my back here I'm just gonna what you're not gonna see is I'm just gonna rinse out um, this after 30 or 40 minutes and then I'm going to um, style my hair and I'll come back and tell you guys if it decreased the dryness now part of my problem is I just need to get a haircut but I think this will help so yeah bye So this is how my hair dried, and um, I definitely noticed the effects of the deep treatment. Um, I managed to rinse most of it out of the length of my hair, but I didn't really get it out of the top. And I could still smell it while drying, um, so um, I don't think I got quite all of it out, but my hair definitely feels lusher and more moisturized. Um, it's a little flyaway because it was outside and it was windy, um, but I think I will definitely add this into my routine. Um, doing a deep treatment every month or so and I would repurchase this product um, but yeah my hair feels softer and I noticed when I rinsed it out of my hair um, it felt softer while wet too so um, my ends didn't really get any softer but that's just because they're kind of old and need to be cut but yeah bye